Well, hello, glorious people of the interwebs, and welcome back to the Red Dead Online beta. Today, we finally got the February 26th update. It is live right now, and you can download it and check it out. And we've got a bunch of new stuff, including some new weapons. I'm going to be making various different videos today, showcasing all of the new stuff in the Red Dead Online beta. Um, but today, we're going to be checking out the first two new weapons. So I'm really excited about this. We're going to see if these are actually worth getting. We're going to compare them to what we have now. We also had weapon nerfs. They finally nerfed the varmint rifle's accuracy a little bit, and uh, we're going to test that out and see just how much of a nerf it was. Uh, let's go ahead and browse the catalog. I know we got a new shotgun, which is a unique weapon, so let's go ahead and check that bad boy out. We've got the rare shotgun here by DDP. Now, the damage on this looks pretty good. We've got range, uh, fire rate, obviously high, reload is pretty good, and anchors. We're going to need to compare this to a double barrel shotgun that we have already. Uh, but this is $258 for this shotgun. Now, if we go back to the index and go to the other shotguns. Uh, now, the thing about this particular weapon is I believe you're probably not going to be able to edit it, and it comes with custom stuff on it already. Now, the typical double barrel shotgun is $185. Now, it looks to be pretty much exactly the same. It is by DDP, um, but this one obviously doesn't come with the custom stuff on the on the wood and everything. So, I don't have this one, so I guess I need to buy both. Oh, no. Can I use it? I guess I'll use gold. Um, how much is it? Eight gold? Yeah, I'll just use gold so I don't use any of my money. Um... I knew you there we go, because I bought gold forever up. ago, and there's nothing to use it on, so we can easily compare these two this way, so let's go back here. There's also a repeater that should have been added, and I'll have to check that out next. Now, I'm hoping that for $258, we'll still be able to edit it, or it probably comes with all the upgrades already. So this one's 11 gold, or $258. There we go. That uh, custom engraving is pretty cool, though. So now if we go to customization, we should be able to tell everything very easily as far as the comparison of the stats go. If we could... There we go. Never mind. Worth a shot. What do you mean it's worth a shot? I just bought two weapons from you, you fool. Okay. Um, shotguns. There we go. So we got the rare shotgun. And the double barrel. So it looks to be exactly the same statistically. Although, the rare shotgun has slightly more accuracy. That's about it. Okay. Wow, slightly more accuracy. Let's see if we can actually edit anything in here. So, we can change Beautiful the ammunition. Keep it up. That's it. The only thing we I'd can change the ammunition on this. Ammo. Can't edit anything else. But the engraving on there looks pretty cool. And, um... Now, if we go back to the shotgun... Here. What can we change on the regular double barrel? So components. You keep treating that like your own child, all right? We could change the you. length. I got some nice carved stocks here. I think you should take one. And the rifling, which is all obviously a lot more expensive. So we're gonna be able to get more range, more accuracy out of the traditional double barrel. We're gonna be able to get even more accuracy out of the improved sights. So that's like uh, 160, 180 dollars for that. Um, we could change the stock, obviously. And put a wrap on there. But there is no engraving. So if you want a shotgun Jacob with Worth an engraving, you're only going to be him. able to get that just about the worst with poker the rare shotgun. Valentine. So that's interesting. Um, so obviously you're not going to be able to upgrade the rare shotgun quite as much. But at least you're going to have Good. the engraving. No and I believe that's that as far as I can see. the main point here. Okay. So there's that. Let's see if we can find this new repeater. So it seems like Rockstar did an oopsie. Not surprised, honestly, at this point. Uh, looks like the Evans repeater was not included in the update. It says specifically in the uh, patch or whatever the preview that they put released last week uh, that the Evans repeater was supposed to be released and you could buy it from either the catalog or the gunsmith. And uh, lo and behold, it's not under unique weapons. It is nowhere anywhere inside this catalog. So we got the rare shotgun, cattleman revolver. There is no Evans repeater anywhere in here we got the carbine lancaster litchfield varmint and then it goes into rifles so they completely forgot to add to the freaking patch 
So we don't have a new repeater today. Semi-auto shotgun, repeating shotgun, blah, 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 bow. That's it. Unless it's maybe like somehow glitched way at the other end here. Like they've put it somehow like with all of this stuff, but I don't think so. Nope. Yep. So no. Uh, it's gone. It's just not here. Woefully unfortunate. I'll give you guys a little bit of a closer look of the shotgun at least. Well, um, all right. But highly we'll disappointing right there it. because that repeater was what I was You're looking forward to. That. You know? Uh, I really do like the Lancaster repeater, but having a, a new option would have been really nice. So when that actually gets put into the game, I will obviously showcase it for you all. Uh, but let's see here. Let's take a closer look at the rare shotgun here. And wham bam, thank you ma'am. I believe this is the same engraving you can get in single player for your shotguns. That's nice. Got a little bork bork there, hunting some burbs. I believe this is the same thing you can get in single player. I'm not 100% sure. Let me know in the comments. I haven't engraved a shotgun in a hot minute in single player, so I can't. I don't exactly remember what it looks like. Um, but it's the same exact thing as the double barrel shotgun we have now, just with some custom stuff on here. Now, the thing I do need to check out is the varmint rifle's accuracy, just well, to see how much this has decreased. I really hope it's not the king of PvP anymore, because uh, it would be nice to see some variation in weapon usage in online, because it was just way too OP. It was just the battle of the varmint rifles with everything you did. Okay, so we need to test this out a little bit, and I'm going to test it and see how quick the bloom is when we target this person here. Oh, yeah, the bloom is significantly quick, uh, slower now. So before, this used to instantly bloom. And you can see, if you guys aren't familiar with the targeting system in Red Dead, when you initially target on somebody, uh, there's a little circle outside of the red circle that shrinks into your target. And that's when you have 100% accuracy. And you're going to pretty much shoot exactly where you're aiming. Now, um, if you shoot before that blooms, there's a solid chance you're going to miss. And the reason the varmint rifle was so just insanely overpowered was because that bloom was instant. It was just like, bam, fire. It's going to shoot you shoot straight in the head every single time. So the bloom has been dressed. The bloom speed has been significantly decreased, probably to be about on par with everything else. So let's see here. The bolt action rifle is one I wish they would increase the bloom on because... Oh, the bloom is faster than on the, uh, I'd say the bloom is faster on the bolt action right now than the varmint. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Absolute. Oh, 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 I pissed him off. You want to go, bro? I don't feel like killing you today. So that's cool. Um, the bolt action always been one of my favorite rifles in the game, so I'm glad it may, I, I think it may have been buffed a little bit. It's definitely faster than the varmint, and I think that's a good thing. Obviously, when you're, when you're hunting squirrels and stuff like that, maybe the bloom is different depending on what you're targeting, uh, but it's definitely significant. It might be a little too slow now, honestly. Um, but I think maybe they'll they'll do another patch and speed it up. This might be just be like, yo, stop using the freaking varmint rifle for everything. <laughs> and then maybe they'll increase the bloom a little bit later on, but it is a lot slower. It might be a little too slow now. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. So I've reloaded Red Dead Online a bunch of times. Uh, I've restarted, and I cannot get the Evans repeater the pages. to show up in this book. I'm a little miffed. It was the one I was really excited about because it's not... Uh, a, a unique weapon. It's one that you're supposed to actually be able to edit and, you know, customize and stuff like that. And it would have been really nice to have a different repeater. Unfortunately, it's just not here. So I can't review it today. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, but once it is available in the catalog, I will definitely, absolutely review it on the channel. Um, I'm not particularly happy with the rare shotgun. Especially for the price you pay. I wish you could customize it further. Um, but I guess that's just how the cookie crumbles with that. I honestly would not recommend purchasing this, purchasing this unless you desperately want the engraving. Uh, because if you purchase this over the other one, you can't increase the range and the reload speed and the accuracy. Or not the reload speed, the range and the accuracy of the weapon. Uh, but otherwise, it does look pretty cool. You've got custom stuff on the actual stock. Like a custom grain and the barrel and stuff is customized as well. well Let's go ahead right. and... This will be here when you need it. I wish I could take a little bit better of a look at it, but I can't while well, I'm in here. Um, 
But otherwise, there is plenty of other stuff to do. We have got, uh, let's see here. If you hit left on the D-pad, you can go to your daily challenges, and these are going to change in 14 hours and 50 minutes. So we've got a, a bunch of different things here. So zero of seven tasks completed, and you get money. So showdown series one, uh, fish caught at least five pounds. A posse joined. Players killed with an Evans Repeater. I can't kill people with an Evans Repeater because you didn't put it in the fucking game. Players killed with a headshot. Races won. And free roam events played. Interesting. I wish these daily challenges were free roam challenges rather than, you know, having to de-immerse yourself from free roam. And I wish it showed what the rewards were. But unfortunately, that is not the case either. Um... I'm going to go ahead and reload real quick and see if I can get it. I'm going to do it one more time. Now, the next item that you can get is for PlayStation 4 only right now. And we do actually have to buy it this time. Originally, the High Roller Revolver was free when it was given for early access. But it is $190 now. And the Jawbone Knife is $105. A knife made from bone and flint. We're going to go ahead and buy this bad boy here. And showcase what that looks like. So, since you can't preview it, I'm going to purchase it for you and let you take a look-see at it. Now, I believe in 30 days, you'll be able to have access to this on those of you that are playing on Xbox. So, just keep an eye out for that. If you really like this particular knife, you'll have access to it shortly. So, this is the Jawbone Kniffy. Now, is there... Can we, like, clean it? I guess we can go into first-person mode. There we go. Oh, that actually looks pretty cool. So we've got a bone handle with uh, with a flint knife. I actually like the way that looks. Um, can I? Is there any way to look at it a little bit closer? I think I might actually use this as my main knife. Unfortunately, the Evans repeater still not in the game, and unfortunately, the daily challenges include using a freaking Evans repeater. So unfortunately, can't get the achievement and get all the bonuses for the daily challenge if. You can't do the daily challenge because the Evans Repeater isn't in the game. Um, anyways, I don't know. A little obviously very frustrated about that. But regardless, there's plenty of exciting things coming in this update. And I'll be showcasing them all in various episodes. So keep an eye out on the channel for all of that. I'm going to be doing clothing, uh, all the new events, and free roam challenges. Even the fishing challenge as well. And we'll be live streaming later today with the posse. So those members out there that want to play with me on PlayStation 4... I will be playing on the Xbox later, but keep an eye on the channel for that live stream and come join me and have some fun. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.